Yeah, United Fugitarians going live once again. It don't stop. It don't stop. And uh, this topic right here, I ain't even finna wait for people to come in. This topic right here is, man, it's gonna be why Egypt fell. This is the real reason why Egypt fell. They fell for multiple reasons, but this is the main reason why Egypt fell, man. They fell to the last. They fell to the dust, the crust. You know their tombs. You know, you know, trying to preserve their bodies and stuff and all that stuff, man. Trying to preserve their um their physical their physical the physical state of mind. But notice that Egypt. The thing about Egypt, Egypt did not have the technology. They had technology dealing with lights and all that stuff and all that stuff and you know levitation and all that stuff but they didn't have the technology to actually realize the soul because it wasn't their time for the soul their time wasn't for the soul their time was on the physical aspect and then they even failed at that they failed at the physical aspect the egyptians failed at the physical aspect of the soul they did they failed that's documented facts since y'all want to say facts that's facts they failed man you know what i mean so going back to the topic dealing with um why Egypt failed. Egypt failed because of multiple reasons, right? When you're dealing with a nation, you're dealing with people and you're dealing with a society and you're dealing with people that's supposed to be um the people that you accept, people you accept, but they're not really about what what you about, but you still accept them, accept them because you 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 have that that weak spot. You got that weak spot in your soul. They had that weak spot in their soul. That's why they that's why they accepted all these foreigners. You know what I mean? And it's so sad, man. These teachers on the internet talking about Egypt. I'm like, for what, man? That, that society failed. That society's not resurrecting, resurrecting no more. That society's done. It's a wrap for Egypt. You know, they did what they had to do. They came down here, did what they had to do, but they, they failed their mission. Mission aboard, mission aboard. They failed their mission. So, um, the main reason why they failed is because they started putting a heart. They start putting love in the heart above logic. That's why they failed. They put love in the heart above logic. That's why they fail. See, when you're dealing with these people and you're dealing with, when you're in a hierarchy, man, you, it's logic or nothing. Because if it's not logic, then you will fall. You will fall. And see, that's when you're dealing with these, with these uh, societies right now that's, that's in power. Like, they starting to use their heart because they had no choice. They don't got no choice, man. They got to deal with their wife. They got to deal with their kids. They got to deal with their family. They're like, oh, shit. Oh, I love him. This and that. Da, da, da. That's why they fall. You know, dealing with the fallen angels. Going back to the fallen angels, the fallen angles. You're supposed to be going straight. You're supposed to be going straight. Yep, dealing with the fallen angles. The fallen angels and the fallen angles. Yep. Man, this 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 is getting too easy, man. Too easy. Egypt Egypt was a, a foundation for the physical realm and the 3D. Egypt was a foundation on the physical realm in the 3D. You know, they 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 built they built their their, their their pyramids. They did everything they had to do. And then now who 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 got access to that? The Arabs. Arabs got access to the pyramids. That's why I be on Facebook and on the internet. I'm like, why y'all still representing Egypt? Like that place is done. That place is finished, man. You can represent it in your own household. Sitting in your room and be like, Egypt. Shit ain't gonna work, man. That ain't gonna work, man. It's, man, it's the Futuritarians, man, the top of the chain of command. United Futuritarians. You know what I'm saying? We got the planes flying over us, man. They can't stop this shit. They know that. All they can do is look. All they can do is look, man, because they already know, man. You mess with one of us, man, your whole generation will be cursed for eternity. That's sad. Your children, your children's children, your children's children's children, your children's 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 children, your children's children. It'll be damn chaos, man. You fuck around and be a slave. Your ho your kids will fuck around and be a slave fucking with us. 
it's a sad situation, man, but we, we came from the 13th dimension and beyond. You know, dealing with the 13th dimension, dealing with the dimensions beyond that dimension, and we're going to keep moving forward. And that's the real reason why Egypt failed, because Egypt failed because the reason why Egypt failed is because they started dealing with that love shit. That love. Oh, I love you. No, it's logic. If you pull a knife out on me, I'm going to pull a knife out on you. If you pull a gun out on me, I'm going to put a gun out on you. Right? You hit me, I'm going to hit you. That love shit, that comes from the Bible. By Baal, what's by? By means to. El, what's El? The Elohims. The fallen ones. That's why it's called by Baal, because you got God and the devil. What's by mean? By means to. By means God, and by means devil. That's why people can't fathom this, fathom this stuff, man. That's why we're going we gonna to keep hitting y'all with these videos, man, because it's a wrap, dude. It's, it's over, man. You know what I'm saying? WW3. WW3 on you niggas. You know what I'm saying? It's WW3 on you niggas, man. And it's a sad situation, but somebody had to come back from the future and actually put everything back in process and put everything back in existence of reality of what's really going on. Ain't nobody doing that on the internet. Everybody talking about money, oils, fucking reparations, schools, and all that stuff. What's that going to do? Tell me what's that going to do. You still going to be at the bottom of the food chain just like you niggas be at. Bottom of the motherfucking food chain. I don't care if, I don't care, I don't care if you, uh, if you a brother and you hit the lottery for a hundred and sixty million dollars. Don't matter. You know why? Because your community still is shit. The community still shit. You can't a hundred million dollars, a hundred million in uh let's say a hundred let's say a hundred and sixty million dollars, right? Right? After taxes, what's that? Uh eighty million, ninety million after taxes. Then you have to if you want to build your community, man, you go you gonna go broke doing that shit. Man, building roads and shit, man, built, building new foundations and stuff like that. It's never been about money. It's always been about the mind power, the mind structure of moving the uh, youth forward and moving the children forward. That's it. Ain't nothing else even popping up here on this goddamn planet but the youth. Why do you think we call us the Fugitarians? Because we know who the future is. Y'all think that was just random? Like we just you came up with that name because it sounds cool and shit? No. It's about the youth, man, the youth, the youth, the, the, the ones coming next after us. They have a choice. The youth has a choice now. They can go on the Internet. They can watch bullshit or they can go on the Internet and watch the chosen ones. They have a choice. I know I got my I got my uh, family dollar glasses on and shit. I'm not finna go spend no three hundred dollars for no goddamn glasses, man. Simple as that. Yeah, I got the family dollar joints on. Yeah, but them earrings is blinging though. Them earrings, them, I ain't gonna tell you how much they cost. It don't even matter. That was just some personal stuff for me. But anyway, back to the topic. Why Egypt fell? Egypt fell because they started weighing the heart. They started weighing the heart. Light as a feather. All this stuff. Heart. Because they, they, they slacked up. And even dealing with uh, Cleopatra. When Cleopatra, she started messing with that motherfucking uh, European. She... She wasn't on her toes. If you met, okay, if you were, if you a copper coated being, right? You a copper coated being, and you start messing with other nations. Oh, good luck if you ain't activated. Good luck if you ain't activated, because them motherfuckers is always trying to plot and always trying to be on top of you. I'm not trying to say like plot and like kill you or nothing like that, but they're always on top. And they try, they're always trying to be above you some way somehow. I've dealt with the motherfuckers. I know, man. They, then when it now when they come around me, they like this dude, man. This dude, suit. yeah, yeah. You see, they always gonna be about money. They always gonna be about this three D realm. All of them, all gonna be about this three D realm, man. Because that's all they know. They know, man. Their souls, their souls are not uh, being elevated to the point of activation. It's not. They already know, man. Just like that one, that one uh, senator. He was a senator. He was a part of the council and the government. He said, "Yeah, the black race will be on top again." Who the fuck you think they was talking about? We weren't talking about niggas. Yeah, good luck with niggas. 
good luck. I'm going to give y'all an example, right? There's a restaurant. There's a couple of brothers that own a restaurant. And, um, you know, because I be in St. Paul, I be in Minneapolis, I be in the whole metro area, right? And it, and then I had one, I went to a different restaurant that was like a couple of blocks from them. And they was talking shit about that restaurant. And I'm like, I know what y'all want to really say. You want to be like, oh, these niggas is, you know, you know, you know, the, 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 the nigga owners, nigga owners is, uh, you know, fucking up the block. They got all, but the whole point I'm making is that that's what happens, man, because motherfuckers ain't universal. You have to be, in order for you to have power, you have to be universal. You have to know how to manipulate each race. You have to know how to manipulate each race. Uh, each race. That's why I know what, what he was talking about. Because he was like, oh, yeah, you know, they, they, they finna lose their liquor license and, you know, they, they, you know, they're open and, you know, there was a couple of shootings there, this and that. Because it's a sad situation dealing with our people, but a lot of them that's business owners, man, that deals with the, that environment, a type of money and a type of business, they don't know how to, they don't know how to evolve past that because they want to be down. I want to be down with the streets, with the streets, woo! So when you're dealing with their money situation, they're under, the only thing they know is, you know, my people. That's all you think they know. They can't evolve past that. That's why we United Futurians, man. We evolving past all you cats. I don't care if you in a hierarchy. I don't care if you, if you a nigga. I don't care if you, if you, any race that you are. We're gonna evolve past you guys, man. It is what it is. That's why Egypt failed because they stopped. They stopped thinking with logic. They start weighing the heart. They stop thinking with logic and they start weighing the heart. Yep. And then we are gonna go back. I'm doing a video. I'm doing a video, man, the eyes of Nibiru. The eyes of Nibiru. He was like, Nibiru's coming. Nibiru's coming. Yeah, Nibiru's here. Yeah, y'all thought it was a planet. Y'all thought Nibiru was a planet. No. No, Nibiru wasn't no planet. It was it was a soul that came through that portal. It was a soul that came through that portal. It wasn't no goddamn planet. Y'all looking up at the sky and shit. Trying to see if you see a goddamn planet. Nibiru planet and stuff like that, man. You know what I'm saying? That's the thing about dealing with royalty. Royalty, going back to that movie, um, uh, that movie, uh, what was that? Jupiter Ascending. When you're going back to royalty, motherfucking, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to that movie. That movie was fire, man, because they put some secret shit in that movie. You know, when they said, uh, uh, the bees protect royalty. Let me show y'all right here. I'm finna show y'all right now. Hold on. Give me a second. Gonna show y'all right now. Yeah. Yeah, that's a wasp nest. That ain't even a bee nest. That's wasp. I ain't scared of them because they ain't scared of me. Because that nest, that nest was put there for a reason. <coughs> Motherfucker, man. Just because something small doesn't mean it's not important. Just because something small doesn't mean it's not important. Everybody looking on a big level and all this stuff, man. Looking up in the sky, looking, man. You need to be looking right here to your soul. That's where you need to be looking at. Yeah, United Futurians, man, going live. Hey, man, shout out to the brother Aso. Shout out to the brother Cosmos Uni One. And we just gonna keep moving forward, man. We're just going to keep moving forward. We're going to keep hitting y'all with these videos, the reality of what the hell's going on. That's why Egypt fell. And they start loving every fucking body. <laughs> oh, I love them. <laughs> love and respect is a whole different ball game. Love and respect is a whole different ball game. You can love somebody, right? But you, you don't have to respect them. It's a difference. You know, this is the same way when, you, you know, you, you might have been living with your mom or your dad or your grandma or family member. And they'd be like, oh, now get out my house. Yeah, they still love you. They just don't respect you no more. Get out my house. Go over here. Uh, You know, go to your uncle's house. I, I don't want to deal with you no more. They still love you, though. They'll go to your funeral. Guaranteed it. They ain't got no respect for you. That's why respect is always going to be over love. And that's why Egypt failed because they put love over respect. Over logic. That's why they failed. And people that's representing Egypt, man. 
Good luck. Good luck with that. Good luck with that represent Egypt, man. Good luck with represent Egypt because I'm sitting here telling y'all, right? The reason why Egypt fails because they put the heart, they put the heart above the mind. They put the heart above the mind. Then you go all these, these teachers that's on the internet. They talking about, oh, love everybody. Love. No, fuck that shit. Love kept us on the goddamn bottom of the goddamn barrel for decades and centuries and millenniums. The fuck you going to still be talking about love for? It's about logic, man. Straight logic. You know what I'm saying? It's logic or nothing, man. It's like if somebody pull a knife out on you, are you going to pull out a, 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 a twig? You gonna put if somebody pulls out a knife on you, you gonna pull out a twig and be like, "Come on, come on, come on! I got my twig. <laughs> I got my twig. Come on with your crocodile Dundee knife." Yeah, you ain't gonna pull out no goddamn twig, man. That's why Egypt failed. Egypt failed because they put logic. They put logic in the back burner, man. Start putting love and start weighing the heart, the feather, and all that shit. That weirdo shit. Just like the cats on the uh, West Coast. Like weirdos. You know, we're a bunch of weirdos out here, man. Because they don't just want to think on logic. Everybody want to go on a book. For what? Why are you going to go on a book? After you learn your ABCs and after you learn how to read, you need. To, there's only five books you need to read. Five or six. Probably six books because you're dealing with the, um, the third dimension, which is six, breaking out the zero, turning into a one. So, it's probably six books, but I already know five of them facts. I ain't finna tell y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all for it. What books you need to read. Motherfuckers that have a whole library in the back of their goddamn house. Like, you got a whole library. You know, there's only a couple books you need to read. This is not a lot. You know, that's just like... Uh, I'm gonna give you an example. That's just like if, you, uh, if you're a... Uh, uh, you know, if you drive a 16-wheeler, right? And you got... A whole library about 16 Wheeler books, right? But then you got the main book that's telling you everything. But you still read all those other books. You know why? Because you're still looking for a validation point. The validation point, man. You want to have something to be validated at. Yes, United Futurians, man. You can Google us. Yeah. Yeah, man. Top of the mind chain. We the top of the mind chain, man. All these teachers on the internet. And I came in. What time is it? Oh, give me a sec. Okay. So I came in, man. Did another. We we we're gonna keep, keep hitting y'all, but live after live after live. Well, I am. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to uh, Uni Fresh. And shout out to the brother uh, I knew I, and the brother I saw. It's just that simple, man. You know the reason why Egypt fell is because they started fucking with the heart. Started putting a heart chart. Weighing it on with feathers and all all this weirdo shit. That's weirdo shit. Real talk, man. That's real weirdo shit. That's why they failed, man. That's why they got infiltrated because it wasn't activated. They did what they had to do. That's the mission on the planet was the their whole mission on the planet was to build those pyramids. That was their mission. And once them pyramids got complete, they failed because that was their mission. Build them that damn pyramids. Build them pyramids, get that shit rolling so we could do what we got to do on the unseen. The seen and the unseen. That's another video. The seen and all. Oh, we already broke that down. I think the brother I knew had made a video about the seen. Oh, I made a video too about the seen and the unseen. We done broke that shit down thoroughly. Thoroughly. That's why I said, man, y'all cats that's representing Egypt, you know, I'm, you know, if you're, if you just woke up, if you just woke up and you're, uh, you know, you just woke up and you're still dealing with Egypt and still dealing with that mind frame and all that stuff, you know, you got the, you know, you got the all C and I and the, 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 the uh, ooh, uh, what was that? The penile gland or whatever it's called, man. All that stuff, man. It's like, man, all that stuff is a, a diversion from activation. That's all it is. It's a diversion from activation. That's it. That's all it is. That's why they fail. Why do you think if Egypt was so powerful, why do you think that, why do, Why in the, net, in the last, what, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 years, why the Europeans ain't fall? 
You know why? Because they think by logic. They don't think about emotions. They don't be like, oh shit, love. Love and, you know, weighing the heart, that's why, that's why Egypt fell. Egypt fell because they put the heart in front of logic. They put love in front of logic. They didn't put the logic on the, on the pedestal. And that's why they fell. So when you go back, you look at time, you look at time, you look at everything that was, the time factor was, okay, soon as these pyra- soon as these pyramids get built, they gonna fall. And that's exactly what happened. They fell. They fail. So if you want to represent something that's falling and nothing that's activated and dealing with soul, because they forgot, they forgot they had a soul. Mum, mum, mummifying their bodies and stuff and preserving their bodies for what? That was just a vessel. That's all that was, was a vessel. You want to wrap it up and, and preserve it, this and that, for what? So some European can dig it up and start pulling your DNA from that stuff and start manipulating and making all type of other creatures and stuff with your DNA? Yeah, yeah, it's the Futuritarians. Yeah, yeah, make y'all think. Y'all be like, oh, shit. Yeah. So that's the reason why Egypt fell, man, because Egypt, Egypt was a was, was a goddamn stepping stone to build the pyramids. As soon as the pyramids got built, they fell. As soon as that pyramid got built, man, fucking the, the Finx, all that stuff, they fell, man, because they started, they didn't understand the, the true purpose. That was their purpose at their time was to build the pyramids. And as soon as they got done, they fell and they, and they fallen and they're not going to come back. The Egyptians not gonna come back. They're coming back through slow niggas, but they're not coming back on a on a nation scale. They're not coming back on a nation scale. They they coming back through slow niggas, but they're not coming back through a nation scale. You know? That's why I tell people, man, go go work your job, go run your business, man. Stay in that lane, man. And let let the Futurians move stuff forward. Uh the Queen of England passed away. She 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 finished. You know, in this 3D realm, she finished. You know what I'm saying? But like we had put a video, we had put a video out. Uh, uh, what was that? Uh, November 11th, 11, 11, 11, 22, when she had allegedly went to the hospital. Allegedly, she had went to the hospital. I was talking to the Futurians. I'm like, look, 11, 11, and all of a sudden she in the hospital. 11, 11, and she in the hospital. I said, oh, okay. I said, that's fine. I say it is what it is, bro. You know. Now, now there's a lot of secrets. There's a lot of secrets that she took with her. See, secrets are being erased. There's a lot of secrets that she took with her because she had to. And I got the utmost respect for her for doing that because she she died with them secrets. You know what I mean? She died with them secrets. Then you know, and I I I give her respect on that because I know she did. Nigga, when you when you run. Man, she's running half of Africa, Europe, a little bit of United States. Man, you think she ain't dying with no secrets? My guy made a song. He said, secrets to the grave with me. Taking secrets to the grave with me. That was way back in like the, the, uh, 1996 or something. He had made that song. But yeah, she took those secrets to the grave with her. You know what I mean? And now you got stuff that can't be documented. That she took to the grave with her, and that they can't, they can't get. They can't get. There might be one or two people that know some of the secrets that she that she know, but yeah, it's evolution, man. It's evolution, mind power to the next, to the next, the council. That's why I said, man, we ain't an organization. We're not an organization. We we the council. Just like when you need your streets done, when you need your streets done, what do you do? You call the goddamn council. The city council. Oh yeah, my street got potholes in it. I need my street done. This and that. Oh, can we? Can, oh, we'll try to get to it. Da, da, da. And all of a sudden, your street getting done. Did you talk to the council? Never been about one individual. Yup, never been about one in- individual. It's always been about the council. But you know, going back to the topic, that's the main reason why Egypt fell. Egypt fell. Egypt fell is because. They started weighing a heart with the feather. They started putting a heart before logic. And that's why they failed. They didn't put logic first. Oh, you got some thick hair. Oh, come over here. Your hair is so thick. 
You don't know what the fuck is in her mind or in his mind. Now, all of a sudden, you come on, oh, your hair so thick, this and that. That's why they fail. What y'all say? That's fact. That's facts. That's facts on how they fail, man. They fail because they started putting the heart before logic. That's documented facts. They started putting the heart before logic. When they got done with the when they got done with those pyramids, when they got done with those pyramids, when uh uh the Egyptians got done with the pyramids, man, then their civilization started to fall because that was their mission on the planet. They didn't even know that. They didn't even know that that was their mission on the planet was to build the pyramids until they got done, until they got invaded. Now who's over there? The uh I think it's the Arabs. I think the Arabs are over there. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. I think it's the Arabs or something that's over there right now. So when you go to Egypt, when you go to Egypt, you got to go see the damn, the Arabs. They're going to try to con you out some money too. Guaranteed. As soon as you get on that damn camel, man, them Arabs are going to be coming up. Hey, 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 are you American? Oh, what is it? Uh, I could take you to the, I could take you to the pyramids. Uh, goddamn con artists, man. Just like the goddamn Indians, man. That's documented facts. Fucking with the Indians. Them are some con artists motherfuckers, man. Over there. Them are some dirty motherfuckers. Them Indians, man. Some dirty motherfuckers, man. Y'all motherfuckers are always calling my phone. Talking about some, hey, brother. Uh, uh yeah, I got car insurance. This, why are you calling my phone? Get off my phone. I already know where you at. Soon, they can't, see, that's the thing. They can't hide the accent. They can't hide that motherfucker. They can't hide the accent. Them idiots, they be like, hey, yeah, uh, I was calling about your car insurance, and I was just wondering if you're cool with your car insurance. What car insurance are you talking about? Oh, I'm talking about the car insurance that you're, that, that you're subscribed to. Nigga, no. Goddamn funky-ass Indians over there, man, always trying to fucking scam somebody. So I don't like them motherfuckers, man. Y'all always trying to scam somebody. Them damn Indians over there, man. Always trying to scam somebody, man. Calling your phone and shit. You gotta get that new shit. You gotta get that uh, that that scam blocker, uh, that scam blocker thing now. I swear, one Indian called me right. It was like a couple of days later. This nigga called me back after I told him to take me off the call list. I'm like, is this the same motherfucking Indian that just called me the other day? Shit crazy, man. But anyway, man, back to the topic, man. That's the reason why Egypt failed. You know, we United Futuritarian. Shout out to the brother Aso. Shout out to the brother Cosmo Uni Fresh. And uh, we're going to hit y'all with another live. I don't know, man. I I'm feeling I'm feeling liveish right now. I'm feeling real liveish right now. So might hit y'all with another live tomorrow. But uh, tap in uh, United Futuritarian channel. That's the brother I saw. Uh, we also got the um, the Futuritarian Activation Channel on YouTube, and then uh, you could also hit us up on uh, on all social media platforms. Really, all you gotta do is search. If you really about evolution, you'll search and find us. Peace, power, soul to the council.